Hey YouTube, this is Michael again. Uh, today we're gonna install a Tesla third generation wall charger. Uh, disclaimers, uh, I'm a DIY guy. I'm doing this video for demonstration purpose only. If you're not comfortable, hire professionals. I highly recommend it. So let's begin. We're gonna install the Tesla wall charger in this area. Uh, I'm gonna try to put in the, the T in this area so it looks nicer. And uh, if you come over here, that's the charger. I'm gonna do a quick open box here, guys. When you open the box, you can have the charger over here, and this the whole panel is made out of glass. So be careful, don't drop it, otherwise, you're gonna break it. The stuff we need is the obviously the 60 amps, that's what required. And the cables, the gauge is gonna be 6, 2. I'm gonna need 50 feet and need some uh, wire connectors and a wire holders and a tape measure and some tools. But the main thing you're gonna need is the safety glasses and a glove screen to protect your hand. So let's begin. Now we have to find the stud to pre drill for the block. We're gonna install for the power charger. So I already find my stud is gonna be in this area right here. So I'm gonna use a bit 332nd to pre drill the hole. Now we're gonna make it level. Make sure it's level. So we're gonna mount the, I already installed the wire to the wall and the basement and I will show you in the bottom how it looks like gonna be. Now we need to install this bracket on the wall. First you need to do the connector to drill a hole on this side to get the wire through it. Like that. Just to keep the wire from vibrating. I need to strip this wire to come around like that.
the place for the tie strap over here. You have to go to climb down. You see my basement, that's where the wire came. Run the wire all this way. Came from the outside, we run it through all the way. Power supply. I'm just going to the way to the panel. Now, I have two panels one for the main house and one for the basement. If I open my painting, it's already full. The sub panel is already full. So, what are we going to do? I'm going to do install the space safers. So we're gonna combine the one, two, three, four, and two. So it can give us a room for the 16 amps over here. And we just mainly outlet lighting, there's nothing. So we're installing these. These, so, see that? Combine two and two, one. Same to two, one, that would give me enough room to install the 60 amps. I know each one of yours is gonna be a different situation than mine, but you gotta take cautious. Remember, you gotta shut the power up. Even if you need to shut this the main switch, the two outside lines always gonna be hot, always gonna be on. Always take cautions. Always. But I cannot stress enough. This is, is very dangerous, so you gotta be really careful. You need to shut off all this panel off. Uh, for me, it's right here to shut off my sub panels, and it's gonna be all this off. So here we go. See? Now I'm gonna use this light to take it off. Take this off. As you can see, that's it now. And I have right here is. Uh, what do they call this? It's a voltage tester. The demonstration. Again, this one I see. See? That's dead or not. See, this hot. See that? Some red. I'm gonna shut it off. Okay. Now remember, if you're using the main panels, even if you shut off the main switch, these two wires will be always hot. Always, always gonna be hot. So we need to be careful. Now, I'm gonna push to the side. And we do. We gotta move this switch off. the stay safer so we're gonna move all these one two three four into two one
you can see. Now we have a space for our 60 amp right here. It's gonna sit. Clean wipes. That's how we save the space. Over here. Now we need to do knockout right here. One of these to access the panel. Make sure they are really tight, make sure. This one. all snugged. And nothing touching, nothing. Okay, this off. We're gonna turn the power back on the basement, but we're not gonna turn the power to the charger yet. I'm gonna leave it off right now. The charger is gonna be off right now. Let's see. See the other thing is on. Now these two, they're hot. Do not touch it. If you have the same panel like me. Now to finish the installation, you need to go and this um, uh, instruction came with it and scan the QR code to finish installations. Now once you do that, you see it's going to show over here, Tesla Wall Charger. You can put my password, my Wi-Fi password. Now see right now we are connected to it. Now we go 
Wi-Fi. My Wi-Fi, we got the password. There you go, connected, now we connected. Now you are back. Defense installation, if there's any update for it. Going through the cycle right now. Then it's getting software update. We finally finished installation the Tesla watch charger. As you can see, all Wi-Fi connected. Uh, update the software, and ready to go, man. Connected, it's perfect. And. Final demonstration, the wall charger uh, was, wasn't that easy. I definitely recommend the professional. Uh, I did this video only for demonstration purpose only. So I definitely recommend higher professional. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell for future video. Thank you.